Shalom. Call Halal Yahweh by Shema with Shai, by Hashem with Kakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders. Salutations to all my fellow laborers doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. Now more so than ever, to the scattered, hopeful elect that are scattered around the four corners of the earth among the heathen nations that be like unto the speckled bird and to the aquaf that are listening and learning to you I say Shalom this is your brother Malcolma from the branch of the Great Millstone here in Chicago and today's lessons is, is just going to be about lies and slander you know and these and reprobate brothers man who who uh, who teach for strife or teach for filthy lucre sake or for whatever their reason they're not teaching according to the spirit according to the truth of Yahweh Basha and Abishai and um, and the reason I say that is because of this you know the topic which is circled back around again as the uh, Elder Yashawamba uh, you know the uh, Elder Kazak and then the Apostle Elders uh, was also on this subject matter with uh, Captain Tazariak, which I do believe is a very uh, uh, unrighteous brother. I don't think the brother's righteous at all. That's just my opinion of him. Um, he chooses, uh, as, as as Elder Yashawamba said, his feelings and his flesh over what the scriptures say, and he follows a man who also does the same thing. All right. And the funny thing is that one of the, the opening statements or the or, or the the creed, the call of uh, ISUPK is that if it doesn't come from General Yohanna, then it's not of God. All right. And um, and my question is, well, what God are you talking about? Because you're definitely not talking about Yahweh. Why Yahweh shy? That's for sure. But let's go into the scriptures, man. This is uh, the book of Jude. Excuse me. The third chapter. I'm, I'm sorry, Jude. And I'm going to start at verse 3. And it reads, Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that ye should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. And that, and that faith that was delivered unto the saints is for the elect. That the Lord came to to to, to uh, and died for all Israel, but the people who are going to make it on the first go around are, are the saints, are, are the elect, not all of Israel. All right, because you know, because the part of that gospel that was delivered was that there's a one third and a two third, and some of these guys that wear garments, that teach and do videos, are of the two thirds. They're teaching in vain. You know, and I and I can't say for hundred percent for sure. I'm not saying that it's gospel, but I believe that Captain Tazariak is one of those people. He's teaching for, in in vain. He may as well just go into the world because he's not teaching the one hundred percent truth. And he walked away from the hundred percent truth. You know why? Because he wouldn't have been such a standout standing among the men of GMSs, which he learned under, which he started with. But being that the 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 average man, the ISUPK. Is, is so low in the scriptures, so has such a, a low scriptural IQ, so to speak, that he was a giant among them. That's how he came in and got and got so high uh, to a position above uh, men who had been with ISUPK for years. And he was yet a novice. But that goes to show you the difference between the, the, the teaching uh, of Apostle Tahar and his men and, and versus... Uh, General Yohanna and his men, because with all those guys in, in, in ISUPK, you don't, you, they don't go out regularly. Neither do you see all the men of ISUPK making videos. And the reason that you don't see the men of ISUPK, not you don't see them making videos, because they don't have the aptitude to do so. The spirit is not upon them. All right, this is uh the fourth, the fourth verse. For there are certain men crept in unawares, who were before of old ordained to this condemnation see they were ordained to this condemnation they're there of the two-thirds ungodly men turning the grace of, of our power into lasciviousness and denying on, only Yahweh power and, and our <clears throat> and our Lord Yahweh Shai HaMashiach and that's what they're doing man 
And I'm going to read the scriptures in Roman, even though this scripture is really talking about uh, Esau, Edom, you can apply it to the two thirds on this side because they'll receive the blessing. All of Israel be saved, but the, the two thirds are going to be uh, receive their blessing on the other side when they come back as the children of the elect. But this is Romans 9 and 21, and it reads, have not the pot of power over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor? All right, so the, the two-thirds are, 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 are dishonor, and they're not going to get the full breakdown and have the spirit on them. They're going to move carnally, even though they, they some of them actually call on the name of Yahweh by Shem that was shy. You know? I mean, it just it is what it is. Let's go to uh, Peter's, Second Peter's, that is. This is 2 Peter 2, and I'm going to read verses 8 through 10. And it reads, For the righteous man dwelling among them, in seeing and hearing, vexed his righteousness, vexed righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. And their unlawful deeds is what? Is by one of them, in this particular sense, is, is Captain Tazariak and other Israelite men who do the same thing that he does. As a matter of fact, I believe the man who started that lie, that rumor, that whole pedophile GMS is, is marrying underage women and all that. Uh, that was uh, one of the heads of, of, of IUIC who made a public apology, but it's too late because they pushed that, that, that false doctrine, that false lie. They pushed it so hard and so heavy that that is a belief of, of, of people coming into this truth. And then men like Captain Cesariac who make, who make these, uh, uh, these very wicked uh, 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 accusations that have no proof, you know, and which has never been done about the men of the Great Millstone uh, being with underage women, according to Esau's uh, 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 society. Because according to the Bible, when a woman reached the flower of her age, she is ready for marriage. Now in this society, um, that is not done nowadays. But even in this society, that was done just barely three, four generations ago. All right, I, I did a video and people were coming on the comment board talking about their grandmother's a, a marriage at 13 There was a couple different people that mentioned that All right, And that was normal Hell you watched the movie uh, Color Purple And it was a perfect example of it And that was around the turn of the century Hell, Matter of fact that was after the turn of the century I believe if I'm not mistaken That took place in the 1920s or something To that, to that effect Alright And what was the uh, uh, The man doing he, The man was marrying uh, 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 13, 14, 15 year old women all, all, the matter of fact, the most of the men in that in that movie, that's what they were doing because that was normal. And often, and they, and and they married these 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 uh these young women, and these women um often uh, uh were were ten to fifteen, even twenty years younger than these men. That was normal here in America. I don't, I, I you know, I, I guess I could look it up. When they actually changed the law and said you were you weren't grown until you were 18 or whatever, but that's not that's why you have even the Jewish people with their bar mitzvahs and their bat mitzvahs. At 12 years old, they celebrate the womanhood of a of a of a, of a young lady, and or they, or they celebrate the the manhood of a young man, which means they are actually eligible and ready for marriage. We just happen to live in a modern day society where everything has been turned upside down. All right, not following the ways of the eastern of the eastern world of the past of the old world because all of the old world did it. So for, for so for these men to just continually push that fabrication and deny the fact that the Bible says that they shouldn't be teaching. Back into Second Peter. All right, this is Second Peter uh, two and nine. Yahweh knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished because it bearing false witness well that's a punishment unto death all right you remember the story of, uh, of susana what happened to those those two old wicked israelites man who were in positions of power and who taught who were teachers who were judges just like some of these men who call themselves captains and and, and all this other mess all right but chiefly them that walk after the flesh in lust and uncleanliness and despise government and so they despise the government and the Lord has set up a government man through the following of his word and anyone who, who, who's teaching not according to that to that government you know General Johanna no one you shouldn't be following them 
Because why? Because the things that he teach is not according to the scriptures, man. And that's the sad thing about this this so-called Captain uh, Tazariak is that he once was among the men who taught according to the scriptures. Now, teaching that that Mary was 13, 14 years old when she got married is that is lawful and righteous and true. All right. And Joseph and Joseph was 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 is at least 10 to 10 to 15 years older than her. That's a, that's just that, man. Now, you know, and some of these guys are in their flesh because maybe they have a 12 or 13 year old daughter. And what would I do that? No, hell no. There's no way I would do that in this society, man. All right. But that's not to say that it's not lawful in the eyes of God. There are many laws that are in this in the Bible because a uh, uh, um, Romans seven and one says the law has dominion over man as long as he liveth. So the law in the Bible is that you're supposed to put homosexuals and lesbians and, and people who do bestiality and things like that. You're supposed to put them to death. But is anyone doing it? No. But that is in the scriptures and we teach that. So by teaching that, a, that, a, that, that once a woman reaches the, uh, once a, a girl reaches the flower of, of her age, she's no longer a woman, a girl, she's a woman now. It's the same thing. You guys are hypocrites. You're, you're, you're liars and you're false accusers. And the Lord is going, is going to deal with you men. Uh, 2 Peter uh, verse 2 and 10. But chiefly them that walk after the flesh in the lust of uncleanliness and despised governments, pre, uh, presumptuous, they are self-willed. They are not afraid to speak evil of dignities. And so the men that speak the truth to the world who put their lives and their freedom on the line to do so, you speak evil of them, man. And you guys are wicked for that and the Most High is going to deal with you for that. And and, and it may even be made pu uh, public. So I'm gonna get one more scripture, scripture and uh, just to close this out, man. Just to let the, let, let the people who are listening, because there's always people that are new, all right? That are they're newly awakened to the fact that they're Israelite, man. We have to give them the opportunity to hear the truth, man. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 7 and 36. And it reads, If any man think that he behaveth himself uncomely toward his virgin, if she passed the flower of her age, which means, all right, so he could have this virgin, and he said, if she passed the flower of her age, then you could have marriage with her. And marriage is sex. So sometimes a young girl would be betrothed to a man before she's even at marriageable age. So she's betrothed. So she may live in this household and be a servant and cook and clean, all right? But as soon as she passes the flowers of her age and it matures to his liking, then he would go on unto her and consummate the marriage. That happened in the ancient world, all right? Just like we had uh, 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 laws that dealt with rape and how to deal with it if, if it occurred. Because in every society, modern, new, Right now, they talk about however many seconds someone in America is getting raped. That's probably a couple thousand women being raped right now in America, man. But uh, but the courts are not going to deal with it according to the Bible standards. Because if they did, a lot of people would would would, would not rape people, man. Because you could get put to death for rape, or you could be stuck taking care of that woman for the rest of your life. And in some cases, with some women being stuck taking care of a particular woman for your whole life, man, could be worse than death itself, man. You'd be wishing you just died. All right. So all we're saying is that there were laws in place to deal with rape. We're not saying that when Israelites just weren't going around raping people. Every, you see a, a girl and she hot and you ask her if she got a man and she say no. And you just, you know, just jump on her, drag off into the to the bushes or something. That's not what was going on. And so these guys come with all these false fake accusations because they're liars, man. All right. We're just pointing out what's in the scripture and, 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 and that's the law of heaven. Even in the Lord's prayer it says on earth as it is in heaven. The laws of the Bible are the laws of heaven, man. You guys are full of shit, man. All right. It says, but if any man think that he behaveth himself uncommonly toward his virgin, if she pass the flower of her age and need so require, let him do what he will. He sinneth not. Let them marry. Genesis 24 and 67 clearly states, cl states that the act of sex is marriage. So you guys out there are just full of crap, man. 
Call Halal Yahweh by Shem Abishai by Shem Rukakwadash Wa Ababa Ball Shalom.